So I made myself a cup of tea. This is a Danish tea that I got sent from a subscriber a while back. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I have a bit of a fascination with all things Danish and Danes. But this is the one that I'm drinking today. What we're all going through right now is extremely unprecedented. Many of us have never experienced this sort of thing before, at least in our like adult lives. So yeah, it's been... <laughs> It's been a rough ride, but I thought that a lovely little favourites video is a great way to bring a bit of joy and celebrate some of my favourite things that have helped me to get through this time. <laughs> I'm also absolutely thrilled to announce that this next portion of the video is kindly sponsored by ShopTagger. You guys know that I've worked with ShopTagger heaps in the past and I'm really thrilled to be able to continue my collaboration with them in 2020. If you've never heard of ShopTagger before, they're basically a web app that helps to save you money by helping you to organize your shopping lists into different wish lists and it will notify you if products are out of stock or if they go on sale. Many of us right now find ourselves in some quite precarious financial positions due to hours cut, job losses, I know that a lot of you are struggling out there. So the way I'm actually using the app at the moment is to save things that I still want to buy eventually that I really am keen on, but it'll act as like a little kind of holding bay for them. So when things start to feel a little bit more economically secure, I'll have all those items in one place nicely organized and ready to go. The other way that I'm using it are for essential things that I have to still keep buying, like shampoo, skincare, things that I'm not gonna not buy. I can keep them in my app and that way I'll get notified when they go on sale so I can at least buy those sort of essential products with a discount. It's a really really worthwhile app to have at the moment. It's super easy to install as well. All you have to do is download the shop tagger button on your web browser and that way when you are browsing online on your favorite store you can just simply click the button. You can select what kind of price point off it notifies you at. You can also organize it into different wish lists. I have one for beauty, one for clothing and one for homewares. There's also another little money saving feature that it has which is really cool so when you're in the shopping cart section of a site, ShopTagger can automatically search the internet for discount codes and will automatically apply the one that gives you the most money off. So it's another great way to save you a bit of money. They also have a mobile app and a mobile version as well. So if you prefer to browse on your phone, you can use it that way. And for the month of April, they're actually running a $1,000 giveaway and it's super easy to enter. All you have to do is download ShopTagger's mobile app and extension on Google Chrome on your browser. And then all you have to do is save at least one item to your shop tagger from today's video by April 29th. And then the winner will be emailed by shop tagger on April 30th. So really, really easy to enter. I'll have all those instructions below as well as a link to where you can download shop tagger. Once again, thank you so much to shop tagger for helping to support my channel. And without further ado, let's get talking about my other favorites for the month. So we're gonna start out with hair care. I've got two products to talk about. The first is a shampoo. And actually both of these products I've been using for about two months. I was meant to talk about them in my last favorites video, but I forgot. <laughs> so I was like, make sure I talk about them today. Um, the first is actually a product that I used to use years ago when my hair was like super blonde, like it was quite bright blonde. It's always been an amazing shampoo for toning your hair, but I used to find the old formulation really drying. So it's kind of why I stopped using it and searched for other options. But I recently saw my friend Sally Jo actually do a sponsorship with this product and noticed that they've got a new formulation that is sulfate free. So it's a lot less drying on the hair. So this is the classic fudge clean blonde violet toning shampoo if you have blonde hair you've probably heard of this product before it's very famous it is the strongest purple shampoo i've ever come across it's so strong that it will actually like stay in your hands so after I apply it, I do have to like quickly wash my hands with soap or else I get purple hands and purple nails. I also sometimes from time to time find bits of purple shampoo in my ears. <laughs> it's very, very strong. Um, but this is their new Clean Blonde Damage Rewind shampoo. So this is sulfate free. I do believe they still sell the old formula. So when you're shopping for this, make sure that you see the little sulfate free sign on it because I personally find this a lot less drying. It is so good. Like my hair is just looking so violety and ashy and cool tone and I absolutely love it. It really helps to make my lengths blend in with my roots better which at the moment is really good because I can't go and get my hair redone. <laughs> I cannot say enough good things about this. I'm so thrilled with it. You also get a lot of product. Um, I really love it. So yeah, definitely gonna repurchase that one. And then I've also been enjoying this hair mask. I've kind of been using it as a conditioner, just I only wash my hair twice a week anyway, so I just used it pretty much every time. But it's from YesStyle, and I would never think to purchase like hair products from YesStyle. I don't know why. 
I just think of it as like makeup, skincare, but hair care is just didn't really cross my radar. But I actually had a friend order this um, a few months ago, probably about six months ago. She really loved it, so I was like, okay, I've got to try this. So this is the Etude House Avocado Hair Pack. And a pack, I think, is a Korean term for like mask. They often talk about like face packs. So a hair pack, it's like a hair mask. This is the most rich and like thick kind of formula mask. Like I'm, there's only a little bit left, as you can see, but I'm gonna try and squeeze a bit out so you can kinda, ugh, if I can get any out. Maybe I've completely used it up. Oh no, there you go. So nice and dense and I absolutely love that with a hair mask. I hate the ones that are like really runny and thin, just like a conditioner. It just doesn't like sit in your hair as well and I find it just doesn't work as well. Okay, now I need something to wash this off with. But it is so nice and it makes my hair feel so soft and conditioned. I absolutely love it. The only thing I hate about it is the scent. It has this really like old fashioned, old lady kind of talcum powder scent to it. It's like very powdery. It's the best way to describe it. It's extremely confusing because the, from the outside you'd think it would smell mainly like nothing because it's meant to be an avocado kind of product which usually doesn't have much of a scent or at the most maybe a fruity scent or something but it's like powdery like a makeup compact or something Ugh. so I don't really like the scent but I can totally look past it because the actual product itself works so well and it's so nice and thick and luxurious feeling so really really love that hair mask it's been great let's take another little sippy Moving on to makeup. So normally with my favorites, I'll sit there and I'll like apply the makeup and everything as I go, but I only have two makeup favorites. So I thought it was just easier to get myself looking nice and sit here and just do traditional favorites talk. But the one kind of main makeup favorite I want to talk about this month is the Nabla highlighter that I tried in a video a couple of weeks ago and I haven't been able to put it down since. This is the Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder in the shade Ozone. I do know that this is pretty sold out in a lot of places, so a good time to add this to your shop tagger so that you can get notified when it comes back into stock if you were interested in this one because this is the most beautiful glassy skin kind of highlighter. It's very glossy, it's very similar to something like MAC Double Gleam. Um, I've gone kind of like moderately shiny today. I sort of went over it with my sponge to tone it down a little bit, but you can go very, very intense or you can just use it a little bit. It's so, so beautiful and I've just really been enjoying that one. And then my other kind of beauty makeup y favorite is a lip balm. So this is one that, again, I got off Yes Style. They sent me a gift card and I was able to order a couple of Shu Emura products from there. So this is the Shu Emura Depsy Hydrability <laughs> Moisturizing Lip Balm. And the packaging really reminded me of like the Clarins lip balm that's been on my shop tagger wish list for ages. So I thought I would try this one since I had a gift card anyway, and it is really, really nice. This has been helping me so much. Over the last sort of week or so, I've been quite unwell, um, and it's meaning that I've been breathing through my mouth a lot more in sleep. So I'm waking up with a really dry, chapped, cracked lips. So this has actually been healing my lips so well. It also has such a nice scent and flavor to it as well. Like whenever Alex kisses me and I'm wearing it, he was always like, mm, yummy. It also has a very glossy kind of shiny finish. If you don't love that in a lip balm, you probably won't like this. It's not the sort of thing I would apply under lipstick, for example. What I put on today is the Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm, which is a very matte kind of lip balm. It sits really nicely under matte lipsticks. This is very glossy. This is something I just use on its own, which considering I'm not wearing makeup every day at the moment because we're in lockdown, <laughs> this is really good for like no makeup makeup days or literally no makeup days. Then I have two style favorites. The first are headbands. I don't even know if you can really see it that well because I've got like a dark background, but I'm wearing this little black velvet headband. This is definitely the one that I've worn the most lately because it's just the most versatile, but I do have a couple of other really pretty ones like a beautiful jeweled one and I've got this really nice pearled one that I don't think I've worn in a video yet, but I'm just loving headbands. All I have to do is sort of blow dry my hair and then chuck a headband in and it's so easy. Um, if I want to make it look even fancier, I'll curl my hair as well and then put it in, which I did for um, that wedding I went to back in February. I just think there's such a nice way to kind of elevate your outfit without really putting in much effort and they just look very cool. And then my other favorite are actually my slippers that I'm actually wearing right now. So I've taken one off to show you. <laughs> these are by Emu Australia and I've wanted these for quite a while. I bought them right back at the start of the month. The first time I came across them was on Beth Sandland's Instagram page. She's a British travel influencer mainly on Instagram and she was recommending these. She has them in grey 
and they just look so fluffy and cozy and I wanted something that was a little bit more open and easy to put on rather than my Ugg boots which I love my Ugg boots but they are quite intense especially for like autumn or spring where it's like not freezing cold but you just want something on your feet so the ground doesn't make you, you know your feet cold you want to be cozy especially in lockdown <laughs> they're not super cheap because they are real like sheepskin but they were a lot more affordable than I expected them to be they're 59 Australian dollars and when you compare it to like the UGG Australia prices, which usually for slides can be like a hundred bucks, I actually thought this was really good value. My only piece of advice is make sure you go up a size at least, maybe even two sizes if you have a wide foot, because they are very narrow. And even, I'm normally a size seven and I had to go up to an eight because I couldn't even like really get my feet in the sevens. The eights, they fit perfectly. They were a bit tight across here still to begin with, but they've stretched because they are obviously a natural fiber. So now they are literally so comfortable and I'm so happy with them. I don't even want a real shoe in like two weeks. <laughs> I've just been around home so if you are in lockdown and you do manage to have a little bit of extra cash at the moment I this is what I'd be spending my money on they are so worth it I wear them every single day they also look really cute like they Instagram really well so that's a bonus oh I do have one beauty fail I wanted to talk about as well before we get underway with books and movies and all that because I know you guys are wanting some recommendations. I tried a new sunscreen this month. Oh, I tried a couple of sunscreens, but this is one that I tried and I didn't like. On paper, this should be the best sunscreen ever. It is fragrance free. It's 100% physical. It's non-nano. It doesn't leave a white cast. What else? <laughs> um, it's SPF 50 plus PA++++, so it's the high, highest kind of protection. It's meant to have no stickiness and a very light sort of watery texture. Well, everything about that is correct. My main issue is that this pills badly. So this is by Purito, which you guys know I love the Purito Centella Unscented Sunscreen. It's like one of my holy grails. So I was really, really excited to try this, the Comfy Water Sunblock. It sounded amazing, as I say, on paper it should have been everything but it just pills like I've been wearing this under makeup I've also worn it on days where I haven't worn any makeup at all and even then like if I just touch my face which I shouldn't be doing but I'm around home so it's probably not so bad but anyway if I did touch my face I just find it would like just pill off onto my fingers throughout the day it's like almost like my natural oils were making it just kind of shed off my face I don't know if it would work better with drier skin I don't really see how this would work for anyone I know some people love it so if you are one of those people that actually loves it do let me know like what your skin type is how you apply it how you make it work because I'm really struggling <laughs> and there's still quite a lot of product in there and at this point I don't even know how I could use it up because I wouldn't even want to use it on my body seeing as it pills and rubs off essentially so I worry that like the lack of protection it would give me but yeah that was a bit of a fail which was such a shame I thought that was going to be a favorite but it just completely let me down but okay so let's talk about book I say a book because I've actually only read one book this month so far. At the start of the month I was finishing off Sapiens, which I actually talked about last monthly favourites. And then this month I've just been trying to get myself through this book. It's quite hefty and it's quite like a book that you kind of need to take a bit of time to get through. So I don't see myself getting through more than this book this month. But that's okay because I'm still on track for my goal, my reading goal for the year. Because I will have read five books by the end of this month, which I wanted to read 20 in 2020. So... It's all good. We're on track. But this is a book called Self-Compassion by Kristen Neff. The subtitle is Stop Beating Yourself Up and Leave Insecurity Behind. Which, honestly, this book couldn't have come into my life at a better time. And I really credit it to how I've managed to kind of get through this little last few weeks. Like, this, these last few weeks have been an absolute roller coaster. Not only in, like, obviously the pandemic and everything that's going on here, but also in, like, my personal life and just... There's a few things that I'm dealing with that you guys have no idea about as well and my gosh this book was wonderful. It's given me so much strength and so much guidance and I, if you are struggling at the moment just in any way you need to read this book. I think especially if you are a parent or someone who knows that you're, you're quite self-critical and quite hard on yourself which I think like pretty much everyone could do with a little more self-compassion. So it is available on Kindle, which is really helpful right now since we're all sort of trapped inside. <laughs> but um, you might also be able to order it online. And then movies. Okay, so me and Alex have watched a lot of movies this month, as I'm sure many of you have. And actually what I'd love is if you watch some great ones, please leave them in suggestions down below because we need more suggestions. We've pretty much run out. We watched a few new ones like Knives Out. I don't know if you guys have seen Knives Out, but it's brilliant. It's such a good film. It's kind of a comedy but also like a murder mystery it's like 
it's amazing. Everything about this, the cinematography, the acting, uh, the whole storyline, it's awesome. So I'd really recommend that one. That was a new film we watched. Um, we also hadn't seen Moana, so we watched that one night because it was fun. And that's a really good Disney film. Like, I know people have raved about it and we're really late to the boat, but it was really good. I also watched Frozen 2, which I really liked as well. I thought that was fantastic. I didn't make Alex sit through that one because I didn't think he'd like it. Also, we watched a movie on Netflix, I, Tonya, which is about um, that American figure skater, Tonya, I can't remember her last name, but she, she was involved in a scandal in the 90s and I specifically remember hearing about it. I won't spoil what the scandal is if you don't know, um, but I remember hearing about it from my mum because my mum used to be a professional figure skater back in the day until about the mid 90s. So yeah, I, I remember all about that story and then I saw that come up on Netflix and I was like, oh. again, it's made really well. Like it's, it is funny at times, it's comedic, but it also touches on some really important issues around like domestic violence and abuse and, so it's quite triggering at times as well, but like in a good way, like it makes you think and just reflect and yeah, it was really good. I really recommend it. It's got Margot Robbie in it. We also rewatched this month Hot Fuzz. Fantastic movie. If you've never seen Hot Fuzz, it's probably one of my all time favorites. Like it is a very good, again, good, well-made film. It's just fantastic. And also Jurassic Park because it was fun. Like I was like, I just want to rewatch ones that I know are good. We watched a few others as well. They're obviously not memorable enough for me to remember to put them in this. Like we watched a heck of a lot of films. Um, but if you've got any other recommendations, do leave them below. But other than that, that is pretty much my favorite video for the month. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Remember as well, I've got all that information regarding the Shop Tagger giveaway in the description, as well as the link to where you can download Shop Tagger. I put up a couple of new blog post on my blog this month as well so you can definitely go check that out too including swatches of the Nabla single shadows I know many of you were keen to see those so that has gone up on my blog and of course come and interact with me over on my socials especially over on Instagram you can slide into my DMs and have a chat with me it's so important that we stay together at this time and stay connected so if you need to just have a bit of a vent or reach out to someone and I'm here for you. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and we'll talk soon. Bye.